Iran, coronavirus death toll surpasses 106,200. 106,200 people have died of the coronavirus in Iran, according to the AK on Sunday. The official death count declared by the regime stands at 24,301. Currently, with the passage of time, the coronavirus has not only not decreased, but it has in fact worsened in the city of Tehran. In June, the virus mutated and there were changes that resulted in many people to be contaminated in many places across the country, said Mino Moraz, a member of the National COVID-19 Task Force on Sunday. The steep increase in the number of new cases and deaths are concerning. Conditions are very poor in our hospitals and medical centres. With the influenza season beginning in the next few days, we will be experiencing difficult circumstances. COVID-19 is like a time and it may explode at any minute, destroying all of our infrastructure. Iran regime to amputate four fingers of free men. Iran's judiciary will soon carry out the finger amputation sentence of three men in Ermia, northwestern Iran. According to reports, the finger amputation sentences, confirmed by the Supreme Court on the 10th, have now been sent to Ermia's judiciary's implementation office for action. According to the Human Rights News Agency, one of these men said in court he was tortured to accept a the theft he did not carry out. He also said that he accepted theft charges because he was afraid of telling the truth. MEK resistance units inside Iran continue anti-regime activities. Despite recent arrests of families and supporters of the Iranian opposition MEK in cities checkered across the country, Iranian resistance units, the internal MEK network, continue to expand its activities across Iran. In recent days, they organized various anti-regime activities, protesting the regime's repression, hailing Navid Afkari, the executed 27-year-old wrestling champion, as a national hero. Resistance Unit's members also took to graffiti and spread anti-regime slogans in Tehran and other cities. <laughs>